This is going to be a video product review of the 120 piece wool felt polishing buffing wheel pads. It is a mandrel mounted grinding accessory. It's an attachment for a rotary tool, really a Dremel tool. That's what this is all about. These things go on Dremel tools. There are 121 pieces that come in this thing, in this package. So what do we end up getting out of this whole package? That's what this video is about. We get 30 pieces of the felt pad wheel, the one inch diameter, I believe that is this. We get 60 pieces of the felt pad wheel, the half inch, and I'm guessing, what would that be? Uh, maybe these, maybe these are the half inch. We get 20 pieces of the felt bullet polishing tip, 3 8 inch diameter tapered. It kind of looks like this pointy guy over here. And we get 10 pieces of the screw mandrel. That's the metal piece that's in here. And I guess that's how these things are mounted. You have a little hole in the center, and you take this threaded piece, and you screw it into there, and you take the post and you put it into your Dremel tool. So this is a really nice selection. What did I end up paying for this? Let's see. This is being sold by I-E-L-E-K. I, -E -E I don't even know how to pronounce it. The price is really good. That's why I bought this thing. There are so many pieces here and the price is really good. I'm going to be using this to buff a, uh, a couple pieces of menorah. So I'm going to be doing the video along with some Jewelers White Rouge because yes, I could use this as a buffing wheel, but I wanna use the Rouge and see if it makes any difference. So that's gonna be included in the video. Here we go with the video review. I'm going to be using the Drexit Jewelers Rouge White and I'm gonna be using this felt pad to polish some menorahs, some candle holders, I will be leaving affiliate links in the video description for both of these videos. If you want to purchase that, you can click on the link. If you want to support my channel, please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like, a share, or leave a comment. You want to donate to my channel, ask for my PayPal info, and most important, click on the affiliate links. It keeps my channel going. And like everybody says, smash that notification bell. Really do what you want. I'm just here to make good videos and help people out. Happy New Year. Have a good holiday, everyone. Stay safe, stay well, put on that mask, and let's get through this together. So here we go. I'm going to pop some of these felt pads on the Dremel tool, and I'm going to use some of this Jewelers White Rouge and see what happens. Here we go. This is, I guess, the half-inch felt pad, and this is the one-inch. I don't know. That doesn't really look like half-inch. Maybe I'm reading that wrong. I don't know, um, but that's okay. So it comes with this post, and I guess what you do is you go to the hole over here and you screw that into the felt thing. And be careful, you don't want to put the end on there because if it goes through the felt, which it doesn't seem like it's going to right now, you could do some damage. So that's the big one. Feels really good. 121 of these things. I think you're going to be good for a while. This is the Rouge, as I said. It's very tiny. Uh, I'm going to see how it works. If it works incredibly well, I will buy it again if I use it all up. I don't know if I'll even ever use this in my lifetime. I just bought this to do the video and to help people out because that's what my channel is all about. It's me spending lots of money to buy things to educate people. So that's why if you want to donate to my channel, it's most appreciated. So that is the... Rouge. I don't really want to take it out of the package. I might have to. Um, and so what we're going to do is a little bit of buffing. Let me relocate the camera here. Now I have this I have this menorah over here and it's all scratched up. It's very old. A lot of damage to it. And I really wasn't able to get a lot of buffing into this area over here. So that's what I want to try. The other thing I want to do is I've got this old menorah over here and I've done a little bit of cleaning 
with polish. I'm assuming this thing's probably absolutely filthy still, even though I've cleaned it up a little bit. Maybe I can get a little bit of shine out of this. So we have, uh, I'm not going to do a before or after. This is the before, and if you want to see the after, ah, we're going to see that in the video. But I'm going to put a little bit of this rouge on here and see if I get any, any shine, any clean on the bottom. We're kind of dirty over there. So what you do is you put your felt piece on there and you, I think this is a collet that it goes into. Haven't used this in a long time. Dremel tool, you can buy these online very inexpensively. I should put a link on there, but you probably have one if you are watching this video. Um, there we go. Lock it down. So what I'm gonna do first is, what do I wanna do first? I wanna see, let's just look and see what happens. I'll zoom in. Let's see if we can get any dirt coming off of this thing just from strictly buffing. And always be careful when you're doing a buff job because you, uh, as all guys will tell you, when you're buffing your item, you want to make sure that there's enough lubrication so that you have, so you don't have friction that is removing material. And uh, that's where the rouge or the polish comes in. Be careful with, there are some... Uh, compounds that are being sold along with these Dremel tools that are fairly abrasive and will definitely scratch up and damage. But that's the whole idea of buffing and polishing is you will damage, you will remove some material. But the Dremel, I think it's 421 polish is an abrasive polish. So be really careful what you're doing. Okay, so how do you turn this on? It's been years since I used this buffer. Oh, we have a little bit of uh, wax over here still. I thought I'd clean that off. And we'll just do a little bit of buffing. I want to zoom in a little bit more. And we'll find out, does buffing without a compound do anything? Now the question you could say, uh, the thing is, am I removing material with this or am I just removing dirt? Well, all I'm really doing is putting a cloth on here, a felt pad, so I'm not, I shouldn't be removing material. I should be removing lots of dirt right now, and it appears that that's what's happening. I mean, look at the side over there, look at this, and then look at this. And let's look at, oh, and let's look at this. We have definitely removed a little bit of dirt. Um, yeah, we've given this thing a little polish sign, shine, but what I want to do now, because this is all about the rouge also, is I want to apply a little bit of rouge onto my post, onto my felt pad over here. Now, as I said, somebody in the review said, oh, it's really moist and it's wet and it's not like, it's not like the compounds that are dry and flaky and... I don't really know that that's true. It is moist. I don't. What you definitely don't want to do is put this on with the wheel running because you will have the stuff flying all over the room, making a humongous mess. So I don't really have much material on there. As, as far as the comment about you are uh, getting a, a really moist bar. I don't know that that's really true. I can't say that that's true. Okay. Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting this stuff on here and the camera's flopping all over. We have a little bit on here, just a very tiny amount, so this will be a really good test. Let's go to the other side over here where it's definitely dirty and we'll see what happens. I know I don't have enough polish on there, but I'm curious what's going to happen. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Let me get the tool tightened down a little bit more. It's flopping around now. It does spin a little bit on the tip because of the way this felt thing is mounted. It's kind of a weird way to mount it, but I guess that's what you have to do. You can see it's, it's, it's going in all different directions. Look at that. Let's go to a higher speed. And I will say right now, this is a success story on the video. Look at this. 
Now I'm going to look in a minute and see am I scratching this, am I damaging the material? Because it looks like I'm seeing a lot of lines right now in the material as I zoom in, but maybe those lines already exist. There is no doubt that this rouge has done a beautiful cleaning job. This is what I did with just the felt pad. And we can see it's already scratched up. We can see this is already scratched up. This is already scratched up going this way. And this is what I just cleaned up. That, I would say, is a beautiful success story. I would definitely say that's a beautiful success story. But, so, there we go. We've checked out the rouge. I really didn't put a lot of rouge on there, but the rouge definitely works. And the felt wheels work. Now what I want to do is I want to do one more test. Do we really need the rouge? This is probably when the half inch wheel would really, or the one inch wheel would make a big difference. But we've got the bottom of this. I just want to see what's going to happen. This is not silver, otherwise I would be using the silver polish that I've done videos on that I love. But I'm going to use a little bit of Brasso cleaner on this thing right now. And just as a test to see what happens. Brasso is obviously going to be more abrasive than, a, uh, than the Rouge. But there are some, oh, there are some times when you really don't need to spend a lot of money on a polish. And the rouge might be a little bit more money than you want to spend. So what we're going to do is we're going to spread this around a little bit so that I don't end up with a bunch of this stuff flying all over the room. And then we'll test it out. I probably have way too much on here right now. And so it's probably going to splatter all over the room. Let's test it and see. Yeah, we're going to splatter everywhere. So I'll be back in a minute. Give it a try. Let's see what happens. If we splatter, we splatter. And we're going to splatter. Yeah, again, I really don't like this. See, when I hold down, it wants to spin all over. It doesn't want to polish the way I want it to because we've got that mandrel going into the tip or we've got the post going into the felt in a weird way. There's an enormous amount of dirt on the felt right now, which tells me that's why they're giving you 121 of these things because you're probably going to go through a zillion of these things if you're doing a real cleanup job. And I'm damaging this thing because the, the post is too far into the tool. I have it on a really slow, low, low, low speed. I hope I'm not staying on my shirt right now. And, um, let me go wipe off a little bit of this and we'll finish it off. I wiped, I wiped the, the liquid away, the paste away a little bit, but I'm going to go and finish this off without the camera in the way so I can really see what I'm doing and I'll show you what the end result is with Brasso without using the Rouge and then we'll go from there. That is the felt wheel after barely doing a quarter, not even maybe 20% of this uh, menorah. So what I will say is do this outdoors. These pieces, the felt comes off. The felt definitely comes off. It flies all over the place. You don't want to do this indoors unless you have a table and a, a good vacuum where you can clean this up. You don't want things splattering around, and they will splatter. The felt really works as a good uh, way to polish without using any material. And if you use material, like the rouge that I had over here, the rouge is really good. Again, I can't say that it is worth the cost. That's up to you if you want to spend the money to buy that brand of rouge, which is really expensive. Maybe it's worth it. I'm not an expert on that, so I don't know. I can't really talk about the quality and if it's worth buying. But if you want to do that, fine. Uh, let's look at the bottom over here, which says everything. Let's get a little bit of lighting over here. You see all the tarnish over there, or whatever that's called? On the left side. On the right side, that's the Brasso. Yes, this thing's been around for probably 
50 years, I don't know, maybe longer. It's all scratched up. It's all probably gouged up from polishing and corrosive or abrasive polishes. It looks really good. It looks really good with the clean right now. When we look at it from this direction, this is where you can really see the difference. And that's just one buffing wheel. Again, the material, the felt was flying all over the place. It does make a big difference using a Dremel tool. This was polished with hand, the hand, the hand on a polished thing before, and it didn't really come out too good. So what else did I do on this thing? I did a little bit of polishing on the star over here. So let's look at the star. You can see one thing I want to say, if you're going to start a project like this, this stuff, it's so time consuming. And when you do it, you say, why am I doing this? It's going to be corroded. And it's going to look terrible in another couple weeks. So you have to decide if you really want to put in the time because it is time consuming to do polishing. That said, this is clean over here. And I did a little bit of cleaning over here. And then let's turn it around now. You can see the difference. See how it's shining? Let's get the light over there. See how that's shining over there? And then we turn it around and it's not so pretty anymore. And let's look at the back of the star. Yeah, there's still damage and there's wax and there's gunk in there. Um, but it looks a lot better and then we turn it over and it's all ugly and yucky. And I believe... Let's look at this again. You can see the side, that's original, not cleaned. Not cleaned, well, a little cleaned. Cleaned a little bit, I should say. And not cleaned, not cleaned. Okay, so this was cleaned without polish. Ow. And this was cleaned with polish, and it's got a nice, almost a mirror finish. Um, and it, it's good. And then over here, you can see how I did a little bit of polishing over there. It's nice and shiny compared to over here where it's all ugly. And uh, did I do anything else? I think that's about it. And the end result will be, this is a really good package. The felt package is upside down, so I keep doing that. The felt package is a really good deal. And why do I say it's a good deal? Not only is the price really good, but if you're doing any project, you're probably going to go through a bunch of these things because they, as I said, the felt pieces go flying. The, it just breaks apart. It comes apart. So you're going to go through a lot of them. This did a nice job. This did a, a very nice job, and it's much cheaper. It's probably more abrasive, so you have to decide what you want to do if you want the abrasiveness of this at a very good price or if you want to use this. The Dremel tool definitely saved the day. So I'm going to be leaving affiliate links in the video description for all of this stuff. Uh, it is time consuming, as I said. It does take a lot of time to do. You'll get a nice job in the end. You'll feel really good about it. I want to try one more thing before I finish. Am I getting a good view of this thing? Let's see now. That's kind of really dirty. It's corroded. It's cleaned a little bit, but a lot of the stuff that you're seeing now is the black not cleaning up well when I polished it by hand. So let's put the Dremel tool on here really fast and see what we get with the polish that's still on here. Does it remove any dirt? Let me put that up to a better speed so it doesn't freeze on me. Um, we're definitely getting some improvement. I want to put on one more thing. Before I do that, I want to try this out. I hand polished this a couple days ago, no Dremel tool. And let's see, does the Dremel tool and the felt pad make a difference? Probably going to clean off a little bit more material, maybe. Maybe not. Look at that. So the buffing wheel really makes a difference as far as polishing. Just look at that. That is unbelievable. I'm trying to get the lighting so it looks better. Look at that. That is shiny. That is clean. That's incredible. It looks, it doesn't look new, but what a massive improvement. Now I'm going to see, but now that I did that, now if I don't do the rest of it, it's going to look ridiculous. That's what I, what I meant about once you start this, you say, do I really want to spend the rest of my life buffing this stuff out? So I believe this is silver, or whatever the heck it is, fake silver, I don't know. My favorite, Blitz, Silver Shine, great stuff. 
starting to get old, so it's caking up on me. Oh, this wasn't caked up like that a couple days ago. It's really caking up on me now. Let me try to shake this. I want to put this in as powdery now. It's time to replace this. Great stuff. Maybe I didn't put the container on. I mean the cover on the right way, but it's definitely drying up on me. Ooh, baby, here we go. Shooting out a little bit. I don't want to put a lot of this on here. I got a lot of gunk and a lot of liquid, so this is going to splatter every way, everywhere. And I really shouldn't be mixing all these compounds. I know that. Let me get this piece out of the way that's dried. And this is going to splatter everywhere. I want to see what happens with the Blitz as I splatter this all across the room. And believe me, it's, it's flying now. That's why I'm cupping my hand like I am. We saw that when I used the brass, so it really didn't clean that. It didn't clean it the right way. The reason I'm using a Dremel tool instead of a big buffing wheel, a buffing wheel would be a lot easier, but you got to be careful with a buffing wheel. You could also lose a finger if you're not watching what you're doing. Dremel tool, probably not going to happen. Okay, let's look at that. Let's get a, where's a spanky cloth? I'm trying to find a spanky cloth over here. This is why you want to do this outside. Look at all that gunk on my hands. Okay, so I just want to wipe this with this uh, spanky cloth over here. And see, did we get that black gunk off of the bottom? Not that it matters, because nobody's going to look at the bottom of this. I'm just doing this to uh, see what happens in this video review. Unbelievable. Look at that. Look at that. It's all gone and it's shining like a beautiful piece of silver. Oh, baby. Okay, let me uh, rub this knob on the bottom over here. And look at all the dirt that came off. That is just, a, just amazing. So the buffing wheel is absolutely awesome. And I've used the Brasso. I've used the Blitz silver polish. I've used the Jewelers Rouge, and one more thing I want to do before I finish this off, which I keep saying that, and then I keep going back to the video. So this is kind of dirty over here. This is, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can really see the dirt. Let's find a dirty spot. This is very dirty over here. And that is what I want to see. Where is a dirty section? It's all dirty. This is really dirty over here. This is all black and dirty in here. Let's, I don't even want to put any more polish on. I just want to go on here. See, what does it do with this felt wheel that's literally crumbling? Let's do a little quick polish here. And this is when, if you had a bench grinder with a real buffing wheel, you could put it on there, and in 10 seconds, this would all be done, and it would look great without having to mess with all these little felt wheels. What does it look like? It's still a little dirty, but incredible. Really, look at that. It's awesome. And I said I was going to stop, so I'm going to stop after I do this one little section in here. We'll get a really good idea of how this makes a difference. So if you're doing fine stuff like this, I would definitely say get a Dremel. It is safer. You probably will do much less damage. If you are very careful and good with power tools, it might be cheaper to buy a bench. When you buy these things, when you buy the hand tool and then you start buying all the other stuff, the price adds up after a while. A bench grinder with a buffing wheel on it might be better. That is with the buffer. That is without the buffer. 
There's a big difference. Maybe you can't see it, but I can. I hope the video helped everybody out. I love the Blitz Silver Polish. I love the Brasso Polish for polishing. The Dremel tool makes a humongous difference as far as exerting all your energy. The Rouge did a nice job. And what am I leaving out? And the felt pads definitely make a huge difference. Doing this by hand with a cloth and hand buffing just took forever and I didn't see the I there were no there were very limited results. You put the buffing wheel on here, you go at a nice pace, nice speed, and Vroom, it's clean and it's beautiful and it's worth it. Thank you for watching. Again, click on the affiliate links if you want to buy any of this cool stuff.